Hi, this is Mr. Bouton. I want to go over what we consider lesson eight, six in our textbooks right here, which answers the question, which measure is best to use when we're describing data? And so the question is, so many measures that we have, measures of center and measures of variability that we've been studying, which is the best one to use? So just as a refresher here, measures of center, we've talked about mean, median, and mode, and measures of variability. We, we haven't really calculated, or we don't need to calculate the mean absolute value, but that is one measure of how far spread out data is. But we have talked quite a bit about range and the interquartile range. So those two are both uh, measures of variability that we will be deciding which one is the best to use right here. So let's get mode out of the way. First of all, mode is best for categorical data. Like what's your favorite, you know, fill in the blank, cake or sports or favorite topic or anything. We can easily see from a bar graph like this, which is the favorite. And that would be the mode right there. Mode does not work very well with categorical data. It can, but it just doesn't work very well. Take a look at these test scores right here. The mode is a 74%. Does that really describe the center of this data? Uh, probably not. It's very. It's at the very end of the data right there. So we don't want to necessarily use the mode to describe this student and how this student does. So let's take a look at mean and median. And I'm going to just give you a quick, uh, quick rule that they kind of go over in your textbook as well as you look at those examples. First of all, let's take a look at this uh, top example right here where we see a distribution of data. Distribution means how all of these X's and the data points spread out across our number line right here. We see it's very symmetrical. Uh, and by symmetrical, I mean that one side looks pretty much like the other side. It's not perfect, it's not exact, but it's very close. So the median is going to be expected to be right in the hump, right in that, that middle part. The median or that middle number is going to be right in there. The mean is also right along there too. Uh, they'll they'll be very, very close together in the center of that data. So whenever we see just a normal type of distribution, then we want to use the mean. And along with the mean, that's our measure of center, then our measure of variability will be the mean absolute value. So if we're using the mean for the center, then the mean absolute deviation is what we use to measure the variability. All right. So let's look at an example when we would not use the mean. And this is a good example right here because we see that there is a, an outlier here. So when we see data with an outlier, then the median, of course, we would probably expect the median to be somewhere between 11 and 12, probably tw in the 12 range, maybe one of these X's or so. The mean, though, however, is pulled closer to that outlier. So whenever we introduce data that's an outlier, it pulls the mean away from the median, and the mean is not the best measure of the center any, any longer. So if you see an outlier, we want to use the median as our measure of center, and along with the median is the range and the interquartile range for measures of variability. Okay, that kind of makes sense because when we make a box and whisker plot, it includes the median, and it's very easy to do the quartile range, interquartile range, and we can easily see the range as well. So these go together. If there's an outlier, median, and range and interquartile range. If there are no outliers, then we will stick with the mean and the mean absolute deviation. So here's our summary right here. Here's what you want to ask yourself when deciding which one to use. Is there an outlier? that will pull the mean away and not give an accurate description. If so, like in this case right here, we want to use the median and then the range and the interquartile range for variability. If not, then we use the mean and the mean absolute deviation for our measures. Thank you very much.